students of aeronautics at the University of Maryland are completing a thorough groundwork in the science of flying and the latest types of planes before being taken up on a test flight in the new light training machines. Over 500 such training centers have been set up and 40,000 pilots are to be trained within a year. The actual flying lessons are given with an instructor and student at dual controls. This new experimental plane can be handled and steered like a car and is equipped with a tricycle landing gear which makes landing and turning safe and speedy. The machine is said to be proof against tailspins, the cause of so many accidents. It can even take off without using the controls and when it stalls, levels out gently. It must certainly be ideal for learners. And talking of learners, if you want to be a trainer of alligators when you grow up, here's how. The props are a nice long alligator, a nice drop of water and a nice little canoe. Having pushed the boat out once, it's the alligator's turn. So he lies doggo. He doesn't know what's coming to him. As he slithers along the bottom, you take a deep breath and a stout rope and power dive onto his back, landing deeply between the head and the tail. Both ends are very dangerous. When he turns over to snap your head off, you throw a noose over his snout and come to the surface for a breath of air. You'll need it. Like Dick Whittington, he'll turn again, but all you have to do this time is to see that he doesn't make a meal of you. Now seize your opportunity and his neck, and it's all over by the shouting. An awfully good idea is to practice with a tadpole in the bathroom first. <laughs> 